Hello everybody and welcome to Stealing 33 Plays Spelunky. Uh, I'm your host, Stealing33, and uh, if you're unfamiliar, Splunky is a uh, action platformer that uh, originally came out on the Xbox Live Arcade and uh, recently made a port to Steam. Uh, I've been playing it for a couple weeks and uh, you know I've really like really gotten into it. I'm not very good yet, but I gotten into it. So I figured um, let's let's record some. If I'm gonna be playing it, I might as well record it. It's not like it's gonna distract me or make me any worse at this game, God knows. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, uh, play game, adventure, alright. Uh, and as you can see, I have unlocked a couple characters. I have, like, uh, this pirate lady, uh, Mexican gazebo, uh, I don't know why I said gazebo. We got Velma, we got Short Round, uh, One-Eyed Cyclops Dude, and then Mr. Spelunky. I think for this first episode, we're gonna play as Mr. Spelunky, because why not? I mean, it's the Hallmark cast character thing. And, uh, you know, he's... The, none, the characters are all pretty much the same. They all whip. They all jump. They just look different from one another. Uh, and uh, so let's uh, let's go. Why not? So Spelunky is a randomly generated um, top-down platformer. And when I say top-down, I mean instead of going up or left or right, you have to go down. Um, so here we are in the game. Uh, these crates contain items. Like that one contained extra ropes for me to use. Um, I have a couple resources, as you can see in the upper left, I got uh, my gold count, which is like your score. Uh, you also need it to like buy items from shops and things like that. Uh, we have our health, and we have bombs, and we have ropes. Uh, bombs blow stuff up, ropes let you climb and ascend, uh, and health is what keeps you alive. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, can we get in here without using a bomb? It doesn't look like it. So you can see the, like, the lady in the upper right corner of the screen over there, that's... I hit the wrong button. Um, that's a damsel, and what you want to do is you want to try to save the damsel, because when you save the damsel, they give you a kiss, and then, um, that kiss lets you, uh, it gives you more HP. So, we're gonna use some bombs to blow our way in here, basically, and, uh, hopefully grab, we'll grab this damsel, and hopefully she'll make it alive to the end of the level. Um, because damsels have HP just like you do, and, uh, they can die, and that means that you don't get to capture the damsel for that level. Uh, we're gonna break open this crate for extra ropes. Would've been great if that was bombs, but that's all right. And uh, yeah, here we go. Right, getting some gems, seeing that bat freak out up there. Um, so this game is incredibly hard. I, if any of you out there have ever actually played Spelunky, um, this game's incredibly difficult. Uh, I'm terrible at it. Uh, I barely make it to the jungle on most rounds. Uh, I take stupid damage. I can't platform worth a damn. I had to change out, I was using the PC controls for a while, and then I discovered that I can't play using the PC controls, because, like, I'm pretty bad already, and then, like, the PC controls are a little clunky, because, like, uh, I basically hold, like, there's a, you have to hold down a button to run, and, like, move really quickly, otherwise you move at, like, this pace the entire time, and, uh, on the PC it's, like, default is shift, and there's just no, oh, I forgot I didn't trigger that arrow trap. Ow. Um... There's no, like, good place to put that where you could hold it and use WASD or the arrow keys at the same time, as well as, like, whip and do all of the other actions. So I bought a gamepad. Uh, it's, like, a cheapo Logitech one because uh, I didn't have, like, I didn't want to get the Xbox one because they're, like, $70. And I was like, that's expensive and not worth it when I could buy this cheap Logitech one for, like, $10. Um... But yeah, so basically what we do is these arrow trap things, which are like this, this thing right here. Um, what you want to do is like you put something in front of them and they shoot an arrow out and then you can pass by them safely. Uh, that idol right there, um, basically what happens is if you pick it up like Indiana Jones style, like a barrel, a boulder falls down and like tries to crush you. And that's why I didn't pick it up because uh, this game, the like I mentioned earlier, there are shops in the game, but if you damage the shop in any way or hurt the shopkeeper at all, uh, the shopkeeper goes nuts and like tries to kill you with a shotgun. And uh, so you want to be careful when you pick up the idol, because uh, oh, what the hell? Go into the. Thank you. All right, there we go. Killing this big spider so as it drops the sticky stuff. Um, the sticky stuff makes our bombs into sticky bombs instead of regular bombs, so they can now stick to walls and enemies and all kind of what have you. Um, it makes it really easy to get into like it makes it easier to go up which is like a very big problem in the game like most of the game is spent trying to figure out a way to go left right and up going down is easy going down you just hold the button down and you go down 
uh, but going left and right is a little bit more difficult. All right. Um, here we got some bombs. So I'm gonna buy these bombs. And I could pick up this gun, this like freeze ray thing, and freeze the shopkeeper and kill him. But um, you know, I'd, I'd rather try to get as far as possible during this episode. Um, depending on the length of the runs that we end up doing, I might do like one or two an episode. Uh, I mean, you know, I got time limits and things that I also have in mind, but this game, depending on how good you do, this game can take upwards of like 45 minutes to play for like a single run. Um, I've never, ever, ever had it. I had one of my rounds go that long because uh, I'm bad. Um, I screwed this up really bad, so I'm going to have to use a rope. All right. Oop. I almost Slide on top. I almost hurt myself. All right, break that web gun. I mean, we'll carry it, I guess. There's no reason not to. Shoot that. Shoot that. Oh, that's a big spider. That's a big spider. Eh. 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 Oh yeah. So this web gun's this web gun's not an offensive tool. What it is is it just you use it and you can shoot these little webs out. And um, it's not the best item in the game to be honest. It's kind of crap because like the webs disappear after a little while. What it does do really well is that, like, if you need to, like, somehow magically climb a wall, you can sort of, like, web jump your way up the wall like Spider-Man. Like, you sort of just keep jumping and shooting webs and you kind of stick inside of the web, um, which is kind of nice, uh, I guess. Um, oop, I don't see it almost, it almost hurt me. <laughs> Freaking web gun. Uh, and so you can use it to, like, climb walls by sticking in webs and jumping repeatedly over and over and over again. Um, you can also use it to, like, stop projectiles and, like, make enemies not able to move and things like that, but it's kind of difficult to do on command. Uh, okay, so there, this bomb box thing, if you buy this, you get 10 bombs, or 12 bombs, you get 12 bombs, uh, but they cost a lot of money. But, um, of all of the resources in the games, bombs are probably the most valuable because they let you do stuff you wouldn't normally be able to do like go into areas that are otherwise inaccessible and uh, do a bunch of stuff. Um, and uh, so the bombs are really valuable. Um, and I'm not going for like a high score or anything. I just want to do really well. Um, and that's it. Like I just want to go as far as I possibly can and make as much progress as I possibly can. Or about high scores once we like beat the game and can consistently get to like the end or something like that, which I mean, it's kind of a pipe dream because I'm really bad at this game, but... Uh, okay, so on this level, you can see there's like a yet like gold key down there. I'm going to whip this scorpion to death first before I start talking about this. There's like a gold key down there on top, like above the damsel. Um, we need to go get that because basically what there's a, uh, there's a corresponding chest somewhere on the level. And uh, if you get both, you get something called the Ujat Eye, and the Ujat Eye lets you see through rock. And... Um, because you can now see through rock, you can like get gems and things like that. I put two bombs down on accident. Whoopsies. Um, and then this this thing right here is an altar to Kali. Uh, you can sacrifice your damsel there for free items. Um, and then if you sacrifice two damsels, you get this thing called the Kapala, which lets you gather the blood of your enemies and use it to revitalize yourself with using mythical Kali energies. Um, which I just got the compass for sacrificing that damsel, and the compass is what that red line is now. Um, basically it just points towards the exit, and there's our chest. So we should kill these guys with the key. Um, those spikes will kill you instantly, like Mega Man style, fall on them and you die. Um, which is awful, and it's most of my runs end because of those stupid spikes. Uh, you can also Mario style stomp enemies, as you just saw. I don't, like, I don't think I need to explain that to you guys, but... I mean, I don't know, some people might like it. Uh, so we're going to put this bomb here, and then we're going to back up, because that's a powder keg. It's basically just a bomb. That's a, it's a box that's literally a bomb. Um, I did that because I saw that ruby a little earlier, and we need all the money we can get, because um, with the Ujara, you can go to this uh, place called the Black Market, and in the Black Market, there's a thing called the Ankh, and if you get the Ankh, and you get to the Black Market, and you do all, like, basically if you jump through a bunch of these hoops, you can go to hell, and if you go to hell, that's like a place you can get lots of money. You can crawl around while you're doing... I know. Oh my god, I just figured out how to do that. Oh my god, yeah. Spelunky knowledge. Um, but yeah, basically if you go to hell, that hell is just full of like treasure and like it's got a lot of stuff in it. It's also like super hard to go to hell because like you need... 
there's a, there's a lot of like song and dance you got to do to do it. First, you got to get the Ujarai, which we already did. Then you have to make it to the jungle, which we just did. Then in the jungle, you have to find the black market, which can be on any of the jungle levels, which is step two. Uh, then you have to have 50,000 gold in order to buy the Ankh, which is step three. Um, then step four is you have to make it to the ice caves, which is like the third set of levels. Um, step five, kill yourself on the on a certain on a particular level of the ice caves that has like this like big stone Easter Island head thing on it. Um, and then you get resurrected and you get this thing called the Hedget, which is like a, it's like a pharaoh's hat, I guess, or like some so, something to that effect, basically. Um, once you get the Hedget, you go to the temple, which is the next set of levels, and you have to get, um, you have to get something called, uh, you have to kill Anubis and get the scepter, and then since you have the Hedget, when you get the scepter from Anubis, you can use it to open up the doorway to the City of Gold, and then you have to kill Anubis again to get the Necronomicon. It's complicated, and there's a lot of steps to it, as you can tell. And then that's not even, like, all of the things you have to do. Then you have to, like, beat the final boss and do a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, and it's kind of a nightmare, but if you want to get, like, a good score and you want to beat the game, like, in its entirety, that's what you have to do. That's that's the entire Song and Dance to beat the game of Spelunky. There's two endings. One's you kill Olmec, who's this big gold head guy. Um, and then the other one is to beat King Yanma, who's the king of hell. Uh, also a nightmare. Uh, so we want to get this damsel out of here somehow, but we gotta be careful of this Tinky Mask guy and this his caveman buddy. Uh, is it just kind of, you know, he, he just looks like he just wants some food. He looks hungry. You know? He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to fight. He just wants to live in harmony and, and punch my face in, you know? He, he doesn't know better. He's just defending himself. He thinks I might be some kind of, like, horrible predator from beyond the grave, because, I mean, I don't look like him. Why would he assume that I'm a good person? Alright, so we got our damsel. <laughs> um, I don't know what that tangent was about, but we got our damsel. We got the level. Um, the Ujadai didn't blink at all. Like, it didn't make, like, blue, blue blippy things. So, we'll go on to the next level, and, uh, maybe the black market will be there. Uh, I'm not doing half bad, actually. First time, uh, first time recording. Okay, so this is a, uh, a dead is uh, the dead are restless level. Basically, um, there's a bunch of like undead themed enemies here. Uh, there's like skeletons and like zombies, and there's like a couple of these places like to get um, like special treasure and stuff like that. Um, which, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's a door behind this thing. There is a door behind this thing. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll say screw progress. I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that the Black Market is on this level, and we're gonna go into this, like, secret level over here. And maybe get some cool footage, nice opening to this, like, Spelunky series that I hope that, like, I plan on doing, like, a lot of. I mean, why wouldn't I? Oh, the Black Market's on this level now. Um, I mean, okay. Uh, I guess we can do this. Um, can I whip this bat? I can whip this bat. Alright, so this is Green Knight Guy. I don't know a lot about this level, because I've only seen it, like, twice. Um, so you're gonna have to forgive me, but... Oh, that was just a... Just a caveman in armor. I mean, isn't that what we all are? Just cavemen in armor. Uh, <laughs> enough of my philosophical quandaries. Um, okay, so I know once we go inside that door, it does close up. So, like, once we go inside, we can't get back out. Um, oh, can't step on people in water. Ow. Okay, I took a lot of damage. Um, alright, now we're trapped. Whip. 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 Uh, whip. Alright, there's a Dracula. Dracula. Get away from me, Dracula. Okay. Alright, Dracula's dead. Um. There's an altar to Kali. Uh, there's some ropes. Good. Alright, there's an another Green Knight guy. Some more Draculas. Take that Dracula. Take that bomb and you die. Um. There's a Castlevania up in here. So many undead. Uh. So, alright, up, 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 okay, almost done, blow that guy up, blowing up all the Draculas, luckily we bought all those bombs before, oh fuck, I died, <laughs> and that's how quickly a Spelunky run can go off the rails, I basically that, 
Black Knight guy. I was going to blow him up, but then I didn't know he could jump. And so he jumped and smashed me into the wall, like Thwomp style, and I died. Uh, we did pretty well. We got some good money. Um, I think that's a good introduction to Spelunky for you guys. Um, so if you like what you saw, let me know. Uh, leave your constructive criticism in the comments. I know I'm bad. It's... I. If anything you guys can say that'll make me do better is appreciated. Um, so thank you all for watching. Uh, if you like what you saw, let me know. Uh, give it a like, give it a comment, give it a share. I don't care. Just let me know that you're out there. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye ya!